So I've been uh, putting together the Slingshot Collection for a while, so I figure I might as well do a quick review of everything. Um, so there's no real order here. I'll just start from uh, one side here. This is um, one very much like this was made by the Joe McDogwood on the forums, and um, Ebony and Osage, and uh, he made another one for me, just gorgeous. Beautiful curves, and the ebony finishes up so nice. Um, OTT with the ring, it's a beautiful slingshot. This is, um, let's see, Tim Foster made this for Slingshot of the Month. One month also glows. Um, let's see if we can get a little glow in there. Um, I, think that's, I think that's G10 scales. So that's a beauty. Um, I have a few by um, Bob Fionda. Um, I'm a big fan of Bob's. I just think that this work is so, they're so sensuous and smooth and just perfect. They're really, really gorgeous slingshots. That's one, I forget the names off the top of my head. Um, this one is called Hercules, I think. And again, just gorgeous. The way he, the finished work is amazing and the way he, you know, works with the wood grain and so on is really just wonderful. So I think that's Hercules. And gosh, I, I should have looked these up beforehand, but <clears throat> I don't know how he does it with Natty. I'm not a huge Natty guy in general, but these are just so beautiful. Um, so there's those. Let's see. This was by BC Luxar. I think he, I forget what he called it, um, but I think this is Snakewood and Ebony. Um, he sold this for a song. He really should have sold it for more. It's a beautiful piece. Um, I love the grain, especially the side. And ebony is such a rich color. It's a great slingshot. Um, <clears throat> big fan of Sharker's work. These are some early ones that he put up. Um, with this, kind of, I think he did an epoxy infill here to create that green, sort of jewel-like look in there. And just all his his wood choices and grain patterns and stuff are so beautiful. So there's one, and then uh, kind of a companion piece here. Um, also really gorgeous, and you know all the fit. Just I love the way he plays with the grains. It's, you know the color and stuff in here. It's so pretty. Really, you can tell he just loves wood and loves this stuff. So those are beautiful. Um, here's another one of his. I think he called this the Kabuki Desert Lizard. Brass cores. So you could really knock somebody out with this. Um, the brass is very pretty. And I just fell in love with all the, the crazy grain pattern in through here. I love burl. Um, and he offset it with these pieces here. And just I just get so lost in these grains. I love it. So there's those. Let's see. <clears throat> this is one of the king pieces of my selection. Tom K made this. Um, and it was a requested piece. And similar to his other ones, but he never really repeats himself. And this is just an amazing. I love this slingshot. It's so cool. You know, the, the, the design is so cool. And all the details are just beautiful. It's a great, that's a great piece. Even, you know, the way he does the braid, the beads, it's also classy. He's just such an artist. I love the green sprays here. This was all done, mostly I just said, do what you think would look good. And I made a few okays along the road, love that. Um, another Tim Foster, he's he may be my overall favorite, favorite slingshot maker, just because his stuff is so classy, and the fit and finish is always beautiful. Um, this is, I think, I think it's all G10 with the mosaic pins. I know some people don't like mosaic pins, but I like them. Um, steel core, it's just, you just gotta hold his stuff, it's so, so beautiful. It's done with such care. Um, this is a flat cap made by um, Barky Bow out over in England, Clint. And uh, this has the glow core and the brass liners and this Kieranite scale. This is really beautiful. This one, Slingshot of the Month also. And again, you got to see the fact, especially the fact that the guy does it all with uh, basically a drill and hand tools. Um, this just glows. The finish is amazing. I know he, he took it down a few times to make it just perfect. Um, it's a really... That's just a beautiful piece. Um, here's a custom SPS that Jim made me. Uh, well, I guess he made it and then I stole it off of him, but this is really this sort of purple color to the, you can't see it very well in this light, but there's a very subtle purple to the spacer there next to the steel. And then, um, I forget the two kinds of wood, but that's legit, that's a true SPS right there. Really pretty work. Um, let's see, this is a, a bean is made by Matt Neiman. You can see the insignia there. I just love this piece. The black and orange, I think I'm a, I'm a sucker for that. He did some sort of playful uh, in, in, inlay work with a, some kind of tool. This is a good one of the, one of the early Beanuses. 
I like that a lot. Um, another piece by Tim. Um, he has the, let's see, he's got the, the Stormtrooper out there. And I love, I thought the black and white looked so cool. And I really wanted one with the, like this. Oh, and he made it with my um, teardrop pinky hole so I could make a belt clip for it too. I got this and just sat with it for the longest time. Drank a slow beer. I love this piece so much. It's really beautiful. Um, this comes from uh, Taylor's Catapults over in England uh, on the topic of SPS. And this this was all requested and custom with this beautiful burl. Unfortunately, it's something that has some cracking and some the wood pulled away a little bit. But if you just focus on the horn and all the different metals he put together, and this this work on the side, all done with a file and filled in with epoxy, just the fact that all this, like, I think it's copper, steel, and brass, I don't really know, but um, all the fitting together is absolutely beautiful. And the finish work's incredible. This is just a masterful piece. He does all his own pins, too, if I'm not mistaken. So all this was done that way. Really just spectacular, like, ridiculously spectacular piece. I love this slingshot. Um, so I think this is one of the early, I think this is the first steel core R10 done by Clever Moniker. So it may not, not the, the big, not the showiest piece ever, but really a very nice piece. And, um, it had a piece of sort of historical significance, so I wanted to grab it. And there's, you know, a great wood choice, nice grains. Um, it's a good slingshot. I didn't have an R10, so grab one of those. Uh, another Matt Neiman plate. This is a beautiful G10 core and this burl on the front. Um, I forget the name of this design, but it's just, there's, you can, you can make up whatever characters and faces in here you want. Um, this is a great, it's just a beautiful, his designs are so uh, elegant, they just fit the hand well. Um, they don't, they, they're deceiving because they look so simple, but they're, they're a real study in human ergonomics. There's a face in there, a smile and an eye, I think. <laughs> um, my flagship uh, O-Run from Eric, uh, he made this one just for me. I said I wanted it to be simple and elegant, so we got the red stripe there, and um, Applewood, I think, Cinnamon Spice, I think he called this. Um, really beautiful. It's so I wanted it to be so subtle, just basically black G10 with some accents, and he did a great job with that, and the orange uh, plugs with, uh, I think they're uh, Applewood balls in there, too, from maybe a different kind of wood, but I just, I love the way the G10 patterns out when you um, sculpt it like that. And that classy mark, it's really nice. This is my favorite O-Run. <laughs> um, let's see, some stuff there. Oh, this is made by Chuck Davis. This is one of his earlier pieces. And just beautiful. You can tell the guy's a master a woodworker. All these green interplays and all the different colors. Um, and this, I thought that looked like bird's feathers with sort of like, like tropical feathers. Like uh, We called it the phoenix. Um, I love that. I think this is such a gorgeous slingshot. Such a great piece of woodwork. Um, here's an earlier piece by Joe McDogwad. Um I thought this should go, uh, should come in the glove box when you buy like a new uh, Jaguar. And this is so classy, to, with all the pinstripes and the woodwork there. Um, I just, it's just elegant, beautiful sunshine. I really like this. Um, here was the first piece I got from Eric. He was messing around with um, whatever the stuff is called, um, tortoiseshell. And I, I don't know why I love tortoiseshell. I was just transfixed by it. Uh, one of the early marks. Um, I, just, I get lost in it. I don't know. I grew up on a horse barn. I think that's part of it. But tortoiseshell is just... I didn't grow up in the barn. <laughs> but so beautiful. Um, this was a flat cat. This was just a, a half-inch um, aluminum blank that I got out of water jet and gave it to Randy Knapp, can opener. And he was uh, gracious enough to... We'll do the router work, which I'm too afraid to do, and then get it all polished up. That's not a very good uh, cleanup job, but it's a gorgeous flat cat. Really, really, really nice work. Um, it's like a spaceship. Let's see what else we got. Oh, this is a little early piece by um, Romani Custom Catapults. Uh, our friend in uh, Portugal, Z, sent this little to me. I just I like the horn and the the brass. It's it's simple, but it's really the sort of Milbro style um, with the, yeah, I like that. Um, here's a good one. This is, uh, this deserves a little glow. This is my favorite piece by EG. Uh, this one, Slingshot of the Month, too. And I just, from concept to execution, I think this is one of the best slingshots I've ever seen. All those little end pieces, so cool. Beautiful, I'm assuming micarta center. 
Um, I mean, right, like, this is just such a cool slingshot. Just, I love, I love these end pieces. I love the way it's inlaid, but this whole thing is glow. I'm not getting much glow out of it, um, but it glows beautifully. And he made this cool stand to go with it, too. So it sits like that. Cool, right? One of my very favorite art pieces. Um, lay that here. Let's see, a couple of fat cats. This is cool. This is a USO made by um, Dan Hood. Original design is uh, by Carl Peppermack. And I, when, I, when I saw that he was doing these out of solid, alum solid aluminum, I was just like, oh, that is so cool. <laughs> I love the little spaceshipy, and this is just, it's a great little, you can put it through whatever finger you want, hang on to it. Um, it just disappears in your hand, you know. I love this piece. Um, what else we got? Oh, a couple mark. This was his, his little one. Um, you know, I've, I did this whole separate review on this, but the fact that this design work, all the subtle little angles and swells, this is a great slingshot. I really, as far as his stuff, this is the one that fits really nicely in my hand. It suits my kind of flat caddy design. I like the pinky and the, and the grab like that. That's a great one. Um, oh, let's not forget the sling ring. I made out of burl, the same as the other slingshot. This is Matt Neiman. Um, definitely have to know how to twist and tweak to use one of these, but it's such a cool piece and a beautiful piece with the black G10 and the, uh, the burl again. It's a great sling ring. Let's see. Oh, Clint. So, um, another one by Clint. First thing by Clint. How I kind of got to know Clint. Um, let's see. He likes his dragon motif there. And this is the Y kiss. And again, ridiculous. This is all done by hand. Um, like a billion little horn pieces uh, with aluminum. All sliced and diced and put up, uh, laid up together. Um, when I saw this, I was just, I, I, I like begged him, begged him to sell it to me. And he's such a nice guy. He's like, look, dude, if you like it that much, I'll just give it to you. I was like, no, 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 you will not. Um, you can also knock somebody out with this. I love this piece. This is just such a beautiful, beautiful piece of slingshot artwork. Um, with a custom holster there. What else we got? Oh, another Tim. You can tell I really like Tim's work. This is probably my favorite of his overall, just because he manages to make this carbon fiber come to life. And with those green spacers, it pops and the black and the steel. The color choices are so classy. It's just an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous slingshot. So simple and so beautiful and so smooth and classy. I love this piece. Let's see. Let's see. We've got a few others. This is made by a a monk, a high on a, a temple in a mountain in Nepal, just for me, is my spirit animal, the uh, bat pig. Oh, wait, this is the wrong one. Oh, no, this was a $6 slingshot I got at a um, gas station made in China. But that's the story I tell people anyway. Um, let's see. Wing Shooter has intermittently retired, and he, uh, a guy named um, Taknak on the forums, uh, he taught him how to make this design, this recurve. And this one was made with longer tips so I could use my side holes in it, which I never did because I didn't want to mar the work. But this is beautiful, just beautiful piece of sculpture. Yeah. I love the way that it fills the hand. It feels really good. Um, that's a great piece. Um, Bill made the scorpion and gave it to Stephanie at the last ECST. Just a really nice, an amazing gift and a beautiful piece. You know, this. he said it was a little small for his hands. It's about the right size for my hands, but... <laughs> Uh, probably a little big for stuff, but it's you know classic scorpion with his uh, his sculpted scorpion in there. Um, this is made by Carl. This is I gave him a flat, original flat cat blank, and he glued on a lot of color, exciting colors, and then just polished, polished, polished. The funny thing is that he's left-handed, and this fits better in the in the hold with the right hand hold than it does with the left. Um, this I, so it's beautiful, just playful and fun. I really like it. Um, oh, here's another one by Romany. Custom catapults. I bought this off of uh, Travis uh, Ambrose, and um, and I, I really admire the guy's work. Uh, he put so much attention into the up close details, and these are so reptilian and exciting with the big bolts and all that. I wanted to grab one of the shiny edges, and it's a really nice piece. Um, oh, here's one by uh, Wombat. Everybody knows uh, his iconic work, and this one, the lines and colors on this one really caught my uh, attention and the, the wood grain is beautiful the classic kookaburra caddies um, I really wanted one of these for a long time I was glad I grabbed this one 
Um, I like the. I think it's book matched. That's what you call the wood there. It's beautiful. What else do we have? Oh, and another sharker piece. Um, it's funny. Some people criticize the 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 way the pieces were put together for this and want spacers and stuff. I love it. I absolutely thought this was one of the most beautiful things I ever saw. The way the light plays through the all the different grain patterns and stuff in this. I just could not stop looking at this when I got it. Um, again, the burl, I get lost in burl. All oh, these colors and those grains, are, like the way the kind of gradation of light comes across from one to the other. Such a pretty slingshot. I really like this one. What else? Um, I think that's about it. Oh, of course, this guy. Um, I picked this up at ECST off the table. This may be one of my favorite the uh, slingshots of all time because of the boldness of concept. I forget what kind of chain it was. So I just weld that sucker together and wrap it in paracord. And that, talk about being able to knock somebody, else, uh, knock somebody out with that. That's just, I love this. I, I don't even think it's, I mean, I guess it's funny in a way just because it's so bold, but I just think it's an awesome, awesome end of the world slingshot. Love this thing. Um, did I miss anything? Okay, I think that does it. So, hope you enjoyed and uh, take it easy. Oh, one more, a couple other things. I, I, I'm so, I've had this for so long and loved it so much, I've, I've sort of used it as a stand for other things. I love this gopher slingshot. I just, the cap is um, beautiful, the red stripe. I love the grain through this. I think it's ash. Um, isn't it just glows? I love this thing. I love this slingshot. This one's slingshot of the month, too. Um, I don't know, I just think it's amazing. And then... Um, this is one. This is just sort of silly. I was trying very hard to learn uh, CAD, and I modeled um, an O-Ren. And I got, you know, in the ballpark. Uh, not quite not quite the same, but in general idea. Um, but it was it a was fun exercise for me. Um, okay, I think that's it.